Here we have a patient from the UK, and uh, tell us about your previous situation, you, what you had going on, and where you went to solve the problem, and what happened when you came here. Okay, um, well about two and a half years ago, I uh, had what was diagnosed as a posterior vitreous detachment in both eyes. Uh, I was given the usual, can't do anything, you'll learn to live with it. After a few months of research, I went to see um, quite a prominent uh, UK surgeon. He was able to offer me help and uh, he treated me over a course of treatments. I felt there was a little bit of resolution. He only treated one eye uh, and I was grateful for the assistance uh, he gave, but I wasn't really satisfied with the results. And in the summer of last year, uh, July 2011, I went to see a Californian um, doctor and uh, he spent quite a lot of time um, on both eyes and again I felt I got some uh, help uh, but not to the extent that I thought was satisfactory. So before I gave up on it I thought I'd come out and um, here to Florida to see Dr. Geller and um, so far I'm quite pleased with the results I've had. Um, Dr. Geller's treated me three times on the right eye and four times on my left eye. Um, the results are not perfect, but they certainly helped me. Uh, I'm left with a few uh, sort of strands in the right eye and a few spicks and specks in the left eye. But the main mucus-like blob, which used to cross uh, my field of vision, uh, appears to have gone, and I'm grateful for that. And that was especially when you were reading or working on a computer, correct? Yeah, um, I think the, if I was, um, for example, in the right eye, if I looked ahead at a, say, a car number plate and then looked down and back ahead, uh, this blob, which was very difficult to describe, would fall down and for a moment would, would completely obliterate the, the image. Uh, and that is, is almost gone now. And in the left eye, in a similar way, if I move my head to the left and right, this, this waft of mucus sort of blob would, would, would waft across my vision. And, um, uh, and, and those symptoms really now seem to, have, seem to have gone. Now, didn't the other doctors tell you that they had difficulty getting that particular one in the right eye? Yeah, um, the, uh, certainly the doctor in the UK um, uh, at one stage, and in fact the doctor in California used the same expression, they said uh, it's curling behind the lens, I think is how they said, uh, and described it as being very close to the lens. Uh, and I think that's why um, the image was very difficult to see. It was more a, a, a smudge, like a greasy smudge, rather than a, a well-defined floater. I couldn't draw it or anything like that. And I think that's what um, was confirmed by Dr. Geller that, um, that it was actually very close to the lens, but it seems that Dr. Geller was able to treat it, even though it was. Tell us about the difference between the two lasers. I, I don't know exactly which laser you mentioned, which he was using in UK, and a different laser in California, but the laser that I use is from Switzerland, and it was made to work in the vitreous. What is your perception as a patient of the difference in the lasers? The perception, apart from the procedure being being effectively um, very similar in the fact of looking into a bright light and, 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 and clicking and uh, going on, um, what I perceived is whereas uh, with the other doctors you, you would hear a, uh, like a single um, snap or a, like a, a, a cap gun uh, going off which you'd sometimes feel almost like towards the back of your head. Um, with Dr. Geller's laser it was very much um, uh, a series of very quick clicks, so almost like a, a machine gun rather than a single shot. Uh, what I understand is that it's multiple bursts rather than uh, a single burst, which, as I understand from Dr. Geller, he believes is more effective than um, the single burst. Certainly more effective in getting something behind the crystalline lens of the eye, the natural lens. I appreciate your uh, visit and it's always great to have a victory and uh, we will continue to do so. Thank you. Thank you very much.